Hey guys, John here again. This is my part two of my vinyl hoard uh, that I've just got today. Um, hopefully the video will be uploaded today, being Saturday. Um, and, got a bag here of it. If you haven't seen part one, it should be uh, uploaded by now, hopefully. Right. So, um, what am I going to do with this in a minute? I've got to find somewhere to put it. <laughs> Not good. You haven't got much room. Right. Put that up there in a minute. Here we go. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to leave one of them off, actually, because something I bought that's new, and I'm going to leave it to another video. Just realised it was there. Right. Um, Marillion. He knows, you know. I've got a few of these, but I bought this one. Cost me three quid. Because it is in amazing condition for its age. Since it is from 1983. It's got charting the single on the other side. And uh, that's it there. And I've always liked the, art, the artwork. And uh, there's the uh, side A, side B, and uh, yeah, the record is amazing condition, near mint for sure. I never like saying mint uh, for anything because guaranteed you'll find something, just a little hairline mark or something. Right, um, next one is um, this one here, Big Country, and uh, this is, um, just think that down there. this is, unfortunately it's got a sticker on there from 1985 when it was bought, um, and uh, other than that, looking around it, it's in amazing condition. Uh, the song is called Where the Rose is Sown, extended remix. I've got this on seven inch, but not 12, so I grabbed it. And uh, yeah, I was well pleased with this. If you've never heard Big Country, check them out. And uh, that is a uh, awesome condition. So it's got a little bit of dust on it, but other than that, it's spotless. Um, next one, this one cost, cost me, I managed to get this uh, five quid off of this. Still cost me 13 quid, but um, I'm going to take it out the sleeve. It's only got a clear sleeve, and uh, it is actually Marillion's Fugazi album picture disc that's the whole album from 1984 that is a, an amazing album stuff like assassin punch and judy jigsaw is one of is my favorite um marillion song it's just amazing um a few gazzies on there um not the other three songs on there emerald lies she's chameleon and incubus on incubus is uh I can't remember how that goes. Um, the other two, I can't remember if I enjoyed them so much, but you know, look at that artwork, it's just amazing. When people say to me, is there albums that you bought mainly because of the artwork? Um, it was definitely the Marillion albums with Fish it, um, as the singer. I'd heard the songs on the radio and seen them in on top of the pops in the 80s and you know the the artwork really stole it and for me i really had to get that so and i've got if you've seen my marillion collection you'll know i've got a few of those already the standard edition um got um another big country here this one only cost me two quid. 
This is one I didn't have on 12 inch. I don't, I don't even think I got it on 7 inch. And it's uh, just the Shadow Extended Remix. And uh, it's an amazing condition. Oh, except for there's a bit of a crease there. Um, I think it's just because I, it's been in the carrier bag, got knocked. But other than that, it's in amazing condition. The set came out in. 1984 and the record is excellent just a little bit of dust on it it's a bit dusty unfortunately still excellent though what are the b-sides uh, I forgot what I said they were in it or if I did, uh, Winter Sky and just a shadow 7 inch version. Just there. Awesome. And next one is um, I do really like this song. I never liked it when it came out. I ha hated the song. Really did. I hated it for years. This cost me four quid. Um, but I really wanted this. Um, and. Uh, it is the Colt uh, She Sells Century, the long version, and uh, 12 inch Beggar's Banquet. It's on, and uh, it's pretty awesome. A white sleeve inside, and uh, there's uh, one side of it, which is amazing condition. Just a little bit of dust, and uh, this one, it's got the snake on side two. There we go. It's going to need, oh, it's going to need a little bit of a wipe there. I think that's, um, I don't know. Just a little bit of dirt on it. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, there go my collection, the cult stuff. Um, oh yeah, and I love this song. Um, I don't really go for the band, follow the band or anything, but I do like this song a lot. And it cost me four quid for this 12 inch single. And it's Pretty in Pink by the Psychedelic Furs. And uh, always remember watching the film Pretty in Pink and hearing that song thinking, that's cool, <laughs> really cool. So, um, yeah, B-sides, it's got two B-sides, or side twos, Pretty in Pink, the dub mix, and uh, Love My Way, which is a lot amazing song as well, US remix. I might have to go out and get the greatest hits of theirs for sure, because I'm sh Love My Way is awesome as well. That's the US remix. And the Pretty in Pink, the side one, is the Berlin mix. And that it's got a couple of I don't know what's happened there but oh no it that is that cover is made to look like it's damaged but that is actually right how it's how it's supposed to look I looked at it thinking oh my god I hope I get some money off that because it's damaged but it's not that's actually how the record is it's even got scuff marks it's got a tear up there which is part of the sleeve and not um, a real tear and there's the uh, pretty in pink and love my way and then there's the Berlin mix there as well And that came out in 1986. Stick that in there a minute. Um, oh, and this one. Oh no, I'm going to I'm going to save the best one till last. I think it's the best one. <laughs> we shall see. Um, right, Depeche Mode fans, watch the next two. This one cost me seven quid. Um, 
and this is a low number this is a limited number nine uh, sorry zero nine six six it's Depeche Mode everything counts and it's got a live tracks on there as well and again this is uh, an embossed uh, cover a rough cover um, and then we've got the inner sleeve like that and there is uh, so this is bong three uh, so it's new life boys say go nothing to fear and the meaning of love and they're all live tracks on that side and then everything counts the original seven inch mix is on that side so um yeah and the record look is just like mint or near mint it's just amazing a little bit of dust on it but it is spotless that's why i paid a bit extra for it because a rough a rough one of these i probably would have paid two quid for but such good quality is well worth getting um and then the one that's um uh awesome i paid six quid for this it's a limited edition um it's a very low number as well and it is numbered 602 and uh comes in this white sleeves depeche mode uh people are people special edition on us yeah you sound yeah, the US sound or U sound remix by Adrian Sherwood. Never heard this. No, the original, yeah. B side, people are people. In your memory, original seven inch versions on there. And uh, this was, um, it looks like this was a customer order. So it's got a sticker up there saying customer on it. Um, but yeah, there you are. The B side says 84 on it. And what's the side A? It is 84 again. So there's the side A. But absolutely amazing condition. Like it's never ever been played. Much better quality than the new crap you get i mean the new vinyl you get today <laughs> which is um pretty true some of the new stuff is quite terrible i shouldn't be saying that because i'm a collector but a collector will tell you normally if it's good or crap or bad or terrible or shite or whatever but yeah this is bong number five and uh, really pleased with that. That was my uh, really good thing. Um, I will show you something I did get today, but it wasn't with that that I bought. And then there's something else I bought today. I'm going to do a separate video. It's going to be a reveal on seal. And um, the thing I got today was a, uh, from my mate who gave me the ACDC Blu-ray. This is... A copy of Let There Be Rock, ACDC. Um, it's not the uh, most amazing condition, but I've got some that are. Um, but he just went out and got it, got it cheap, and just said, "Look, John, I know you like like ACDC." Um, so yeah, it was really good to get that. Come, it's got a crappy white sleeve, but do you know what, right? He did bloody good because this is this is an amazing condition. I'd say that's uh, near mint, and uh, yeah, it's a K five zero three six six. So um, on Atlantic, yeah, Atlantic labels are quite boring looking, but <laughs> it's uh, it's a German one as well, German pressing. So you know. He probably paid a quid for it or 50p, so can't grumble at that. And uh, yeah, so that's going in with my ACDC stuff. And uh, obviously, that album came out in 77, 
So um, it's 40 years old. What an awesome album as well. And uh, yeah, that is it for that video. And uh, we have got, we've got a record fair coming up. I know you guys out there who watch these videos probably ain't gonna be going to this. This is in Guernsey. And this is a record fair that is held by um, a few of my mates. And uh, it is Guernsey's biggest record fair. And uh, if you're interested in coming to Guernsey for it, there's loads of people turn up to it. And uh, it's been a very big thing lately. And uh, yeah, even, even if you're interested in bringing your vinyl to Guernsey, doing a table, £10 a table. So yeah, um, it is really good. And uh, there is so much stuff. I've, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds at these, these things. So, um, and it's for a good cause as well. Motor on your own. So, um, yeah, my next video is going to be reveal, unseal. Cheers for watching. Keep rocking. See you later.